let's look now at the cardiac axis. The cardiac axis represents the overall direction of electrical activity as it spreads through the cardiac conduction system. In healthy individuals, you would expect the cardiac axis to lie between minus 30 degrees and plus 90 degrees. Before we continue, there are some important concepts to understand. Firstly, whenever the net direction of electrical activity is towards a particular ECG lead, you should see a positive deflection in that lead of the ECG. Whenever the net direction of electrical activity is away from a particular ECG lead, you should see a negative deflection in that lead on the ECG. So, let's apply these concepts to a normal cardiac axis, which is seen in the diagram on this slide. In the context of a normal cardiac axis, the axis normally lies between minus 30 degrees and plus 90 degrees, which you'll see represented by the yellow arrow on the diagram. As a result, you'll see a positive deflection in lead 1 and lead 2, with the most positive deflection being in lead 2, as it is most closely aligned to the overall direction of electrical spread. These are the leads you should pay the closest attention to, as if these are both positive, the cardiac axis is normal. Lead 3 may be slightly positive, isoelectric, or rarely ever so slightly negative. You would expect to see the most negative deflection in AVR, due to AVR looking at the heart in the opposite direction. So now we understand the normal cardiac axis, let's move on and look at when this is abnormal. Right axis deviation involves the direction of depolarization being distorted to the right, meaning it ends up between plus 90 degrees and plus 180 degrees on the cardiac axis. The most common cause of right axis deviation is right ventricular hypertrophy. Extra right ventricular tissue results in a stronger electrical signal being generated by the right side of the heart. This causes the deflection in lead 1 to become negative and the deflection in leads AVF and lead 3 to be more positive. Right axis deviation is commonly associated with conditions which result in the development of right ventricular hypertrophy, such as pulmonary hypertension. Right axis deviation can, however, be a normal finding in very tall individuals. Left axis deviation involves the direction of depolarization being distorted to the left, meaning the electrical signal travels between minus 30 degrees and minus 90 degrees. Lead 1 becomes positive, whilst in lead 3 there is a negative deflection. Do know, however, that this is only considered significant if the deflection of lead 2 also becomes negative. Left axis deviation is usually caused by left ventricular hypertrophy or conduction abnormalities. For further ECG guidance, head over to the Geeky Medics website or practice your interpretation skills using our OSCE station bank. If you liked this video, you'll love our textbook. The Geeky Medics Clinical Examination Guide summarises all the key examination skills for your practical exams. Buy now at geekymedics.com.